Johanna and I are headed to a river. Pero me estoy grabando yo a mí, no no allá. Yeah, because she's noticing people are coming back already. Sí. Because mm. we can't eat at that restaurant, so we're just gonna sit here on the cement. Me los va a comer y ya. Tengo hambre. What up, guys? We today is Sunday here in Pereira, and Johanna and I are headed to like a river that her cousins invited us to to go hang out by the river and enjoy the time out there and have some food and jump into the river i've never been over here so we're headed that way right now with our uber driver hey <laughs> yeah he's uh taking us to well we're going to a, a place to buy some chicken because that's what we're gonna take over there we're gonna take some chicken over there and um so we don't show up empty-handed and because they made some rice and they took some rice and they have i'm guessing like some beverages out there some beer and stuff so it sounds like a lot of fun we're excited to go to go try this out here Hola. <laughs> yeah so let me show you guys over here what it's like we're driving this is still this is still pereira and when we got into this uber here he asked me if i could sit up front there's like a thing here that uh, i don't know if it's illegal or what but it's just the, the cops stop him and there's nobody in the front well actually i'll let him explain oiga amigo por qué uno tiene que sentar uno enfrente eh, porque a veces eh, los policías de tránsito molestan okay. o ponen algún problema Okay. Entonces es mejor que alguno se vaya al frente y así no... Ok. No, no so es problema. como un poquito como ilegal que, que esté... No, ya no es ilegal. Ok. Pero, pero ellos a veces buscan cualquier forma de... Ah, para de, molestar. De molestar a ah, uno. ok. Entonces, con, de esa forma uno, uno lo evita. Ok. So you, you get a fine. You say that you get a fine that the cops over here bug a lot. Like they'll, they'll bother you, they'll stop you just to get money out of you. There's nobody in the front. So that's why they, they've asked me a couple of times when I've been in an Uber to sit in the front, but it's part of the, uh, you know, to help them out so we don't have to, so he doesn't catch a fine. Porque le dan una multa, algo así. Sí, puede ser. ¿Cuánto sale la multa a veces? ¿O todo es mismo? No, eso tiene diferentes, diferentes ¿Cómo, cómo valores. ¿Cómo la policía? Ah, exacto, como de, como de, depende de lo que ellos digan, la razón que ellos den de por qué van a poner la multa. Ah. Okay. Eso, eso y si es. está más enojado, pues le da uno más, <laughs> más alto. No, molesta más. Sí. <laughs> sí, sí. So, Entonces, yeah, it, it, it varies. Pero, ¿cómo es? ¿Qué tanto es uno normal? Una, una multa de eso. ¿Cuánto sale? Eh, por ahí. Vamos a llevar un Vamos a llevar. Por ahí 500 mil pesos. Sí, vamos mil. A so, you're saying it's like 50,000 Colombian pesos? Sometimes, uh, more, sometimes it's 50,000 Colombian pesos, or sometimes it's a lot higher. But 50,000 is like about, I would say like 12 bucks every time that the, you get a fine for not having somebody in the front. But yeah, I've noticed that they do that here a lot. They, they like I would say about a good 60% of the time that I'm in an Uber is when they, when they do that, uh, when they ask me to sit up front. And there's also like a rule during, on the license plates, I don't know if you can see the license plate. There's a rule here that if your license plate number ends in a certain number, you can't drive during that time. And a, a veces hay como, como se dice que la, los números esos uno no puede manejar. Pico y placa se llama. Okay. Okay. ¿Y eso qué es? Eso es que dependiendo del número de tu placa, del último número de tu placa del vehículo, eh, no puedes andar en la ciudad durante algunas horas, un día a la semana. Okay. Un día a la semana. Ajá. Ah, Por ejemplo, en mi carro es los miércoles porque terminan cuatro. Okay. Entonces yo no puedo andar eh, entre las 6 de la mañana y las 10 de la mañana. Okay. Y las 4 de la tarde y las 8 de la noche ah. ese día. 
transitar por A la esa hora no puedo circular en ninguna ¿Y parte ¿Y por qué de es la esa ciudad? razón? ¿Por qué? Para disminuir el tráfico vehicular en la ciudad. Ah, porque hay mucho carro ah, y cosas ah, así. Exacto. Okay. Entonces lo hacen con ese objetivo de, de disminuir el tráfico, que haya menos trancones eh, y que fluya más el, el tráfico de vehículos. No hay tantos accidentes, ah, también ah, cosas así. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. Esa es la razón. Ah, ok. So, yeah, he's saying that, uh, like, for instance, his license plate number, what, what it ends with, he can't drive on Wednesdays between 6, I think he said 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and then from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., and you catch a fine, too, and the reason why they do that is because to eliminate as much traffic as they can, because a lot of people drive, so they do that here. Es, es en todo Colombia, ¿verdad? Sí, pero cada ciudad tiene diferente forma de usarlo. Okay. En algunas partes es todo el día, en algunas ciudades. Okay. Eso depende de, de cada ciudad, de lo que ah, defina cada ciudad. Okay, entiendo. I don't know if you saw that, but there's like a little kid riding in the front of the, on the bike. I see that here a lot too. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, they ride in threes sometimes. I mean, uh, that's the way that they get around here. To me, that's like very risky. I, I wouldn't see that in the United States. You definitely catch a ticket that I know of, especially if there's three people on a bike and one is a kid. We just got here to the, uh, it's called Frisbee. So yeah, that's where we're gonna go get this chicken at. Let's go see. No quiere salir. Sí. <laughs> no quiere salir. Sí, vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Hola, bello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal, amigo? Lindo, ¿le gustaría poder apoyar a estos chilenos que hacen? Disculpa, amigo. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So, yeah, so you guys can see, check it out. It kind of reminds me of like a church's chicken or a, like a KFC. It gets it's like fast food chicken. But I did taste it before and it was actually really good. It was really, really, really good. And they say that this, a uh, lot of places have tried to replicate this uh, chicken here and they can't get the same, uh, like the seasoning that they do on the batter chicken. And so it's very well known, this, this uh, restaurant here. Pero me estoy grabando yo a mí, no, no allá. Sí, porque mire esto. So I was just letting her know that I'm not recording the... on them making the food or anything like that. Allá en ese restaurante venden chorizo, llevamos chorizo y ya. Sí, llevamos algo de allá. So they're saying that it's gonna take 25 minutes for the food to be ready. And we're already running late, so we're just gonna go. And um, hopefully there's a restaurant over there that we can get something from. And take it to... Uh, to where we're going, but yeah, that's 25 minutes is just a long time. No, 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 si, no, es mucho tiempo. Ah, listo. Si quieren, buscamos otro lado en Santa Rosa donde puedan comprar algo. Pues dicen que hay un restaurante por ahí y compramos. Si, 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 claro. Ok, si, prefiero eso. Listo, perfecto. Yeah, so we're gonna go get that. We're gonna go get some meat. In Santa Rosa, some chorizo. Okay. And the chorizo here is really, really, really good. It's so good. Okay. Um, See you, Plymouth. And it's uh, it has such a good flavor, such a very different flavor than the sausage back at home. Um, it's so good. So yeah, that's what we're gonna buy. We're gonna try to find a restaurant that has that and uh, take it to take it to that river to that uh, where her cousins are at. I'm excited about this because I've never experienced this um, where Colombians get together. It's like when we get there, it's gonna be, you still have to walk, like they're saying like 30 minutes. It's kind of hidden in there and there's a waterfall they're saying. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm guessing people get together there a lot. Usted ha ido ahí donde dice que, que vamos, que hay una, como una cascada. Yo creo que sí. Okay. Pues si es donde, donde estoy pensando, sí. Me creo, eh, sí, yo he ido. Ah, eh, ok. Es muy chévere. Sí, sí se la pasa muy, muy bonito ahí uno. Sí, ok. Sí, muy ¿Va mucha gente? Eh, a veces. Ok. A veces. Ok. Yeah, so he's saying that he thinks he's been there 
um, and it, it's really really nice so yeah I'm excited to experience this usted no ha ido no no he ido la primera vez so it's gonna be her first time too so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a fun day let's see what we get into oh I want to show you like show you these hills here just how green it is over here in Pereira Todavía estamos en Pereira. Sí, sí. No, esto se llama Dos Quebradas. Ah, Dos Quebradas, ok. So that's where Johanna lives. She lives in Dos Quebradas. Alright. Let me see, watch. Those are called miradors over there, I over here. It's like a place where you can go, it's kind of like a scenic view where you can take a look at all this out here because the view is amazing. Yeah, so these are like uh, little scenic views, little lookout spots. called Tambo. They're always up on a hill somewhere so you can take a look at the uh, at the whole city or wherever you're at and they're they're spread out through all Colombia like they 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 really love having those around and it's I've been to one before and we had uh, we had dinner there and we had a couple of drinks and it's just a nice relaxing time because that day was November the last day in November so what they did that night was they celebrate receive like they I don't know if you say it the same way in English but they receive December like that they celebrate by popping fireworks and just like a little celebration and it lasted all night and it was so much fun people out dancing and it's just to bring in December that way you know like it was something I've never experienced before like they were just celebrating it being December I remember because it was the last day of November and I was like why are they popping fireworks like it almost looked like the 4th of July and um, they, they were they were saying that they they received December that way and I thought that was like a beautiful way like just express people expressing you know celebrating December arriving it was so awesome so many fireworks and we were up on the top of the hills and we were on the top of the hills and you can just see fireworks going out through the whole city it was such a beautiful thing to see like it was really really awesome going out to different countries and experiencing stuff like this like that is life to me because it's i'm experiencing new cultures and that's what i love like that's why i travel to experience new cultures and never did i think i would meet a woman traveling I mean it didn't cross I mean of course it did cross my mind but I was just enjoying the ride I was enjoying the ride of just the uh, traveling and to have met a person like Joanna has been such an awesome experience like just learning her culture the way she talks the way that they, they talk Columbus and Columbus I've always been interested in because they're so beautiful such beautiful women. Like que las colombianas son las más mejores. Sí. Obviamente. Obviamente. Yeah, sí, like. Y las pereiranas más. Sí, las pereiranas. ¿Cómo se dice pereira? Pereiranas. Pereiranas, ah, ok. Yeah, I mean. ¿Ustedes están solo de paseo acá o.? Yo. Yo vengo de paseo, pero la conocí la primera vez que vine aquí. Ah, pero vos sos de acá. Sí, yo sí de acá. Sí, ajá. So we just arrived to this uh, little town over here so we can buy, stop at this restaurant and purchase the the chorizos, the food over here. Check it out. This is a little restaurant here. Amigo, necesitamos chorizos. Chorizos, yeah. Asaditos, yeah. Asaditos, yeah. 
Sí. No es para llevar. Sí, es para llevar. Sí, para llevar. Ah, ok. Hablamos con ella. Ok. Yeah, she placed the order. Pidió 10. Ok. So yeah, we ordered 10 chorizos. Son, uh, son chorizos de caballo. No. Because <laughs> the last time I ordered, I ordered a chorizo, they brought me a big ass fucking chorizo. It was big. And uh, that's why I called it a horse, a, a horse chorizo. And, um, but it was so damn good. Están riquísimo los chorizos. Es el mejor chorizo que va a probar. ¿Aquí? Sí. ¿Por qué? El sabor, uy no, es delicioso. Sí, lo hace más diferente aquí. Pero ¿por qué cree usted? Aquí es famoso por los mejores chorizos de Colombia, okay. en este pueblo, en Santa Rosa de Cabal. Sí. So they're famous for the chorizos here. Is what she's saying. That I'm gonna taste the best chorizos here in Colombia. Because they, they make them really, really good here. So that's good to hear. And I see some. I don't know if those are it over there, but... Let me, let me try to get closer. I'm gonna walk out here a little bit to so show you guys a little bit more of this little town. ¿Cómo se llama aquí? ¿Cómo se llama este pueblito? El pueblito. Este es Santa Rosa de Cabal. Y aquí, restaurante y asados el mono. Ok. Restaurante y asados el mono. Vealo ahí el teléfono. Ah, ok. Yeah, let me show you guys this, the restaurant here. Restaurante, asados. You know what? I'm gonna ask the Uber driver if he wants something. Since he's being really, really kind and helpful, I did forget to ask him that, and that was kind of rude. Oiga, amigo, ¿usted quiere algo de aquí? No, no tiene hambre, nada. No, no, muchas ¿Seguro? gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Muchas nada gracias, de tomar. Ya te... Ah, pues ya tiene agua. Sí, sí, sí. Está bien. Okay. Muchas gracias. Sí. Yeah, he didn't want anything, so. But yeah, the whole field of Colombia in a small little town like this is really, really awesome. It feels nice. ¿Quién me va a cobrar? Ah, uh, la chica. Dijo que era 90. 90? Uh -huh. So that was 90. 90,000 pesos. So it's 90, so that's what, uh, 20, like 22 bucks for 10 chorizos. They all come with the arepa. And, uh, yeah, for 10 chorizos, for like 10 people, you're paying 25 bucks, about, or 22 bucks. Muchas gracias, amiga. Yo sí me salté esa cama y salí corriendo. Sí, y yo sí me paré la puerta y comenté al señor. Sí. Ajá. Aquí mi amigo siguió durmiendo. Sí. Se levantó, ¿qué pasó? ¿A quién están robando? ¿A quién hay que matar? ¿A quién están robando? <laughs> sí, yo pensé que estaban robando, que estaban tratando de entrar. Yo no sentí que era te terremoto. No, 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 terremoto. Se movió muy fuerte. Se escuchó bien feo. Se escuchó bien feo. Gracias. ¿Con todos? Sí. Ah, okay. Espero. Ahí va. Sí. Ahí va para todos. Está para todos. <laughs> ah, bueno. bueno pues amigo, Chao. muchas gracias. Me alegro de usted. Hasta yo? luego. Igualmente. Igualmente. Yo, muchas gracias. Ya, yeah, what they were talking about was this because I forgot to mention two days ago there was an earthquake that happened right where we were at. Over there in Pereira. They felt it all the way over here too, is what he's saying. And uh, it was like a magnitude of 5.6. And this was like at 6 a.m. Gracias. Yes, ma'am. It was like at 6 a.m. And Johanna woke me up. <laughs> freaking the fuck out. Because the whole place was Pero moving. Yeah, so yeah, oh, yeah she woke done. me up. Okay. Freaking out because <laughs> the whole place was shaking. I could not feel it. I woke up and I thought somebody was trying to break in because that sound was horrible. It was like the scariest sound I probably have heard other than a car crash. Um, 
because the windows were moving, but it sounded like they were trying to break them because the, we have a metal door at the Airbnb. And that night when I was going to sleep, it was like 3 a.m. I heard somebody, because right underneath us is a restaurant that hasn't been, they haven't been open for a while. And at 3 a.m. I heard somebody opening up that door down there. And it was the guy that owns it. He was, he was uh, going into it. But it sounded to me like somebody was breaking into that restaurant. But, so that, that's why the next morning when she woke me up freaking out, I heard a loud, loud noise from like a metal door and like the window like i thought like somebody was trying to break in and i'm like i was ready to kill somebody and that's what i was telling her when i woke up so i got up and she's getting up she's like no we need to go outside there's an it's an earthquake and i was like oh man it sounded like somebody was trying to break in because it sounded so scary but yeah that's what happened that morning it was two days ago so this happened on the tw on the 19th on january 19th and it was some, I've never felt an earthquake before. I didn't feel that. I just heard a lot of noise and people like yelling, going outside, and she <laughs> she was ready to run outside. And uh, but it stopped. Um, I don't know how long it lasted. It lasted maybe I would say like 30 seconds, maybe or a minute. And then you hear the sirens in the city um, giving the warning or like. Maybe it was a late warning or just letting people know that something happened. But yeah, the sirens went off, and car alarms were going off, and it didn't damage any houses. It didn't, uh, nothing fell. It was a pretty heavy earthquake, but they, they build, the construction here is pretty solid. Like it's really, really solid. Just like in uh, Mexico, like they build differently than the United States. We build stuff out of wood over there. Here, everything's out of cement, blocks of cement. And so everything was very solid. Just the uh, supermarkets were damaged. Um, you know, all the stuff that they have there, inventory was on the on the floor. And some places that it showed like cracks on the streets, but it wasn't uh, something where, you know, buildings fell. Thankfully, nobody got hurt that, that we know of. And everything was okay. So thankfully, everything went that way. You see the views over there, they're, they're so beautiful. So many people out here. Hey. I wanted to show you guys this other part that we're at right now. It's so beautiful. That's like another lookout spot out here. Wow, you nunca visto así. Check out these trees, guys. It's so different. All right, so he just left us here at the restaurant. We're gonna start walking. They said it's like about a 35 minute walk. But all the people are already coming up already. We, we got here really late. They're already coming up and um, I guess it's a... Uh, it's a... Um, it starts getting dark. So it feels cool, nice and fresh. And hold on, because I don't want to bust my ass here. Buenas tardes. Yeah, I don't want to sit there because it's kind of a steep hill. It's actually pretty cool. Because it's a small little trail. Got to be careful walking here because it is a little bit steep. It's a little bit steep. Yeah, because she's noticing people are coming back already. You can see. Huh? Tranquilo. No. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando lleguemos, nos vamos a tener que volver. <laughs> a descansar por cinco minutos y claro. después de volver. <laughs> Ay, no, 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 no. <laughs> 
No, ya no, Ay, quiero, no. Ya no quiero bajar yo. Creo que es hora y media. Si una ¿Qué? Hora ah, no, para ese no. Está la mamá de mía, ¿cierto? Ah, yo le sí, sé qué hace acá. Ya, nosotros venimos. Oiga. A caminar. Yo no lo reconocí. No, no, vea. Porque me motivé y me afeité. Ay, sí. Ve, y el que queda media hora. Vea. Vea, no nos encontramos. ¿Qué apenas va para allá? Sí. Ay. Es una hora, más o menos, hora y. Nosotros nos demoramos subiendo hora y 20 minutos. Uy, no. Y bajando. Pues sí, tarde, como se dos prima horas. mucho. Pero es muy lindo. O sea, Pero, es hermoso, es espectacular. Pero ¿por qué dicen que media hora? Media hora no. Eso es falso. Eso es falso. El problema es que de pronto, digo yo, no sé. Igual mucha gente está bajando. Pero ya de subida, de pronto ya les coge mucho la tarde. Ya uh -huh. es muy oscuro uh -huh. la subida. Igual hay mucha gente. Les tocaría llegar 10 minuticos un momentico y volverse. Sí, y devolverse. De una, si no esperan mucho. Es hermoso. Sí. Es espectacular. Sí. Acá está. Es muy hermoso. Es espectacular. Sí. Es muy lindo. No pierden la ida. Ah, no, yo sí no vine. Se quedaron con la mano. 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 Um, in the same area where she lives at, because I've met her because she watches her daughter. And they're saying that it's an hour, <laughs> an hour and a half, two hours to get down there. Because they told us 30 minutes and it's not 30 minutes. They're saying it's an hour and a half. And by the time we get there, we're going to have to come back. We're Ay, <laughs> No, a nosotros también nos dieron media hora, media hora. Es mentira. Hora. No, no, no. Es que de bajada no, 40 minutos. Y de subida que Digamos, se Llegamos a las 10 y media y llegamos allá a la 1. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Así de tanto? Pues sí se van suave, sí, sí. se van sí. Mejor dicho. Pero es espectacular, el agua, el agua es fría, fría, fría. Y es deliciosa. Y donde cae la cascada, Muy hay bien. un lugar ahí donde se pueden tirar, ah, claro, porque sí, es hondito, uh -huh. pero el agua es congelada. Uh -huh. El agua es congelada. Para que le pusieran hielo. <ríe> sí, sí, así tanto de frío. Rico, sí, rico, sí. Sí. Yo dije, no, no, me no pierden la vida, no se arrepienten. No pierden la vida porque es muy hermoso. Sí. Pero, pero, pero les coge la noche de pronto para allá. Sí. Pero pero que si tienen que bajar rápido. Y que hacen el chapuzón. El chapuzón y el chapuzón. Bye. Bye. <ríe> Igual Venga. pongan mucho cuidado. O sea, si se van a venir, siempre viene gente. Y seguían con la demás gente que viene. Uh -huh. No van a tratar de venirse en solos porque por ahí hay una, un camino que se bifurque, por eso pueden perder. Uh -huh. sí, Al, el puente el... amarillo. Ahí, el puente a la amarillo. Derecha. Pasa. No, y ahí ya, sigue, ahí se, se, se pasa sigue. el puente y ya empieza el camino. Ahí sí, ahí, ahí de ahí para el puente. El camino lo lleva. Es media hora más. El camino lo lleva. La verdad, venir muy temprano. Sí, es que es de madrugada. Nosotros vinimos por la mañana. Desde por la mañana. Sí, mi ¿Qué? Sí, es muy bien. No pasa nada. Ya vienen mojados, entonces. Sí, viene mucha gente, o sea, ya llegaron hasta acá, ¿vale? Abajo hay más gente. Sí, eso está lleno. Sí, eso está lleno, eso está lleno allá. Sí, mucha gente. O sea, apenas hay gente bajando, apenas nosotros subimos después de 10 minutos, todavía estaba bajando gente. Sí. O sea, no pierden la ida, tranquilos que esto está repleto. No vamos a poder disfrutar, yo creo, no sé. Sí, claro. ¿Pero qué quiere hacer usted? Ay, no, ya no quiero. ¿No quiere usted? No. <laughs> so, so it looks like we're returning back. They're saying that it's, it takes like at least an hour and a half to go over there, but that it, it's, very, it's worth it. But better if we come earlier. Ve, por eso le dije que nos teníamos que poner... ¿Qué? Las pilas más temprano. Ah, sí, cómo no. Y usted no ah, me dejó, sí. usted no me dejó. Because <laughs> it's starting to rain already too. It feels really nice and I really would like to see it, but it's not going to be worth it if we get down there in about an hour and a half and it's no, going to get dark. Las tres. Sí, porque se va a oscurecer. Cuatro. Uy, no nos ocurre el domingo. Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que pienso yo. Si fuera que nos quedáramos una hora o dos o algo, sí. sí. Pues regresamos pues. ¿Usted quiere regresar? Nos, tenemos cinco, cinco chorizo? chorizos para mí, cinco chorizos para usted. <laughs> yeah, so we're returning back. It's not going to be worth it. Especially if I can't record. It's going to be dark. And it's going to be rainy. But I definitely wanted to experience it. 
it, I just don't see it being worth it. Because we're late. <laughs> pues ahorita regresan su. No, nos podemos quedar ah, aquí un ratito, esperamos. ¿no? Sí. Podemos esperar lo que llegue. Sí, ajá. Ella dice media hora es para que uno se desanime. <laughs> A lo mejor. <Sí. laughs> Inteligente. Y era una hora. <laughs> Pero por razón nos topamos a su. Por algo vecina. pasan las cosas. Pues se siente tan rico ahorita caminar. Sí. No, y mire, lo que se quería. Lluvia. Lluvia, ajá. I'm already out of breath. Ya, ya estoy cansado yo. <risa> Ay, no. <risa> me tengo que acostar ahí por un ratito. No, ¿sabe que lo que no me motiva? Ah. Que uno no se puede ir tranquilo. ¿Cómo? O sea, caminando suave. Ajá. Despacio, sino que rápido. Pa. Para alcanzar. No, no, no. Mejor nos devolvimos. Sí. All right, we got to the top already. lo que dice ahí. ¿Qué? Pues todas las indicaciones de ir allá. No lo entiendo. Que las indicaciones para ir al, a la cascada. Uh -huh. Todo lo que dice ahí. El ingreso al río y la cascada de chorros de Don Lolo es una actividad de alto riesgo que debe realizarse con guías certificados y bajo su propia responsabilidad. Ahí a velocidad. ¿Para qué? Necesitamos guías. No, para nada. Las piedras nos guían. Como nos dijeron. Sí. <laughs> Ahí Cuando se guía las... Cuando amarillo, a la izquierda. <laughs> no, that just says... What well, she's saying that it's... You need a guide to go down there. But nobody goes down there with the guide. Pero that the rocks... Casualidad. The rocks are our guide. Yeah, that's her neighbors from uh, where Johanna lives in the... Because uh, she has a house. The houses here are like uh, condos. And they uh, they live in the same the same neighborhood. Tiene algo en su nariz. Que tengo un moco. Un moco. Ay, negro. Un moco negro. No. Mire, son las... No, son las tres y media. Cuatro y media. No. No, 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 no. Su prima tratando de decir que es tres. Es para ahí. 30 minutos. No. The rain stopped. The rain stopped, so now it feels even more fresh. It feels good. I mean, honestly, I would have liked to experience it, but it's just, it's not worth it to walk down there for an hour and a half and I have to come back. All right, so we are looking for a spot just to sit and enjoy these sausages because we can't eat at that restaurant so we're just going to sit here on the cement no quiero bajito cómodo no quedo cómodo aquí no quedo cómodo i like these jeeps here all right so we sat down here to eat Hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna try this out here. Oh, si tienen un sabor más diferente. Más rico. Mhm. Mucho. Sabe bien rico. It's really good. It's really really good. Un poco de lo pero lime on it. Mmm. Tan rico. Me gustó más que todos. Tiene un sabor más diferente que me gustó. I still don't, I tell her, I don't know, like, the arepa is a big deal here. I don't get it. I eat it. These tomatoes here, they are, uh, they're usually more green. And they taste very sour. And I like those. I like those a lot. I'm not a, a tomato fan, but those I do like. It tastes nice and sour. Me da gusto. Está riquísimo. Mucho. Muy rico. 
Tiene que madrugar a las 9 de la mañana. Yo no. sí madrugo. Ah, no. Mm -mm. Usted no me, no me deja salir de la cama hasta la duna. A las 10 se volteó para el otro lado. No es cierto. Usted, roncando. Mm -mm. Se echó <risa> muchos pedos. Eh, falso. <risa> no. Es bien perro, perro, perroda. Pedorra. Pedora, usted. Usted pedorro. No. I recommend these. These are really good. It's so nice and peaceful. Qué tan tranquil, tranquilidad mm -hmm. es aquí. Mucho. Ay, igual yo no creo que ellos nos guarden a nosotros. <laughs> No nos van a guardar nada. Póngase en la mente lo que usted necesita para que no se sienta mal comiéndose los chorizos de ellos. Me los va a comer y ya. <laughs> Tengo hambre. <laughs> so now we are walking back to the restaurant. We're walking back to the restaurant because Johanna is still hungry. Because it, it was just a little, it's like kind of like a snack. So we're going to go eat something. So we wait for our cousins. I don't know, the food looks good here. It smells really, really good. <laughs> so, the, cous the cousins all met. A ver, ¿qué iba a decir? No, las colombianas me encantan. Es, hermano. Si existen mujeres lindas en el mundo, están en Colombia. Y a la otra que mire, y todas tienen culo. So we had a change of plans. It's uh, something else that I haven't seen. Si quiere un novio americano, a ver. A ver. Yo, yo también quiero uno. Sí. ¿Y cómo okay, le ¿qué digo? Tipo? ¿Qué tiene que ser un hombre para conquistarla? ¿Qué es lo que algo Está bien romántico. 